Hey, Algebra 1, Mr. Catlin here with your lesson 11. We're not going to meet in class today because of map testing, so I thought I would help you out with this one. There's not really anything new. We're just talking more about range and domain and just getting some extra practice with it. So you've got an extra problem here. I just want to go over it with you. Watch this on Tuesday and have it done for this Friday when it's due. So the function W gives the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit that a pot of water on a stove T minutes after the stove is turned on. And after 30 minutes, the pot is completely taken off the stove. So get familiar with the graph here. The temperature is on the y-axis, time's on the x-axis. As time progresses, it's heating up, heating up, and then bringing it to a boil. It looks like it boils, and then they kind of turn it off for a little while, and then they take it completely off the stove after a half an hour. Okay, so the first question says, is 250 in the range of the function w so 250 that is going to be an output okay when you see range you need to think output and in our case you need to think of the y-axis so whenever i'm thinking of the range i'm kind of making a window of all of the places where my outputs can lie and this one looks like they brought it to a boil so my range ranges from that red line all the way down to its lowest temperature, which is at this red line, right? So my range is between these two distances on the y-axis. And 250 is up here out of range, right? The water temperature never gets up to that amount. It looks like they bring it up to a boil at, at about 212, and they just stop. And then they keep it there to cook, and then they turn it off, and then eventually take the, the, the pot off the stove. So uh, that, that range there is, is not in there. So 250 in the range of function W, no. Uh, the highest output is uh, 212. And 250 is greater than 212. You could say something like that. So it's out of our range. Describe the range of the function. So I kind of drew what it looks like, but if I was going to describe it, I'd say that the range, um, if I was to describe it, it is the temperatures, temperatures between, uh, it looks like 75 degrees Fahrenheit and 212. Those are the only outputs that we see in our function. We don't see anything below. We don't see anything above. So that is the description of our range. And then does W of T equals zero have a solution? Explain how you know. Well, this right here is saying the function of the water temperature at some time, we don't know, is it ever equal to zero? Well, zero would be down here, and that's not within our range. So, no. Uh, zero degrees is not within the range of our function. Pretty simple stuff. Most of this is vocabulary. There's not any difficult math, but if you know what range means, it's all the possible outputs that our function is displaying. Uh, then we know that it can't be smaller than 75 and it can't be greater than 212. And anything outside of that range is not part of our function as output. And so that's why we can't have numbers like 250 or zero be part of our output because they're not demonstrated on our graph of our function. All right, later guys.